So last week, you may have seen, he pulled out of the debate in September he had previously agreed to. So, so, so here's the thing. Here, here's the funny thing about that. Here's the funny thing about that. So he won't debate, but he and his running mate sure seem to have a lot to say about me. Vice President Kamala Harris last night in Atlanta continuing the new messaging for Democrats, branding Donald Trump and his running mate J.D. Vance as, well, you heard it, weird. Joining us now, House Minority Leader, Democratic Congressman Hakeem Jeffries of New York. Uh, Leader Jeffries, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Um, let's just start there. The, the sort of the energy, the enthusiasm around Vice President Harris, huge crowd in Atlanta last night, and also the response the, the, this in this last week or so to the word weird. Well, first of all, President Biden uh, is a heroic American, patriotic American, great American. Uh, made a selfless decision to pass the torch to Vice President Harris, who's ready, she's willing, she's able to lead us forward into the future. Uh, and she's drawing a great contrast between our ideas, we want to move America forward in an enlightened way, build an economy that works for everyday Americans, and contrasting that with Donald Trump, J.D. Vance, and the extreme MAGA Republicans, whose ideas are dangerous, their ideas are extreme, and their ideas are weird. Uh, and it captures... Uh, the moment, the narrative as it relates to who they are, I think in a very accessible fashion. So you mentioned uh, President Biden. Obviously, there were after his debate in Atlanta, there were weeks where Democrats, including lots of members in the House, House Democrats, who called for him to step aside. I know you met with him, uh, as did Senate uh, Majority Leader Schumer. We, we heard from former Speaker Pelosi. Can you tell us a little bit more about what those conversations were like with the president in those days where he was weighing what to do before opting to drop out? Well, it was a private conversation that will remain private. We obviously have great respect for President Biden. He will go down in American history as one of the most consequential presidents ever. And we've had an incredibly close partnership and relationship with House Democrats and Senate Democrats and got a lot of big things done for the American people and for the world. Uh, and it's just been great uh, to have the opportunity to serve alongside him. And I'm just thankful for his 50 plus years of transformational public service. Leader, I, I want to turn to the notion that we'd like the word speaker to be in front of your name. And obviously, November is very important in that regard. We're all very, I think most Democrats are very excited about Kamala Harris as our, our, our presidential candidate. Where can people go to learn about the races that will decide the majority in the House. I think for most Americans, they understand that the presidential is very important and they're very aware of the Senate races. I think it's really hard for them to navigate, well, wh where should I be helping if I have time or the ability to help? Where can they go to learn the races that will really matter as to whether or not you can have that title in front of your name as Speaker Hakeem Jeffries instead of Leader Hakeem Jeffries? Well, thanks for asking that question. Uh, it is incredibly important that we take back the House to make sure that uh, the 47th president of the United States of America, who we're going to work hard to make sure that Kamala Harris has a partner uh, and that we can continue to get big things done for the American people. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee website uh, will provide for the American people all of the races that are going to make a difference in November uh, in terms of both the frontline races, those incumbent Democratic members uh, who we need to reelect, and what we call the red to blue seats, uh, seats that are currently held by extreme MAGA Republicans who we need to defeat. And you know what's interesting? Here in New York, we have four or five seats that are in play. We can win the House back in New York State alone, another five in California, and then, of course, others spread out all across the country, in the Midwest, in the heartland, two in the Deep South in Alabama and Louisiana. The opportunity is in front of us. We're going to make the case that we will continue to put people over politics, fight for lower costs in price gouging, address housing, housing affordability uh, in the United States of America. Of course, defend democracy and fight for reproductive freedom. So can they do D 
FCCC.com or do they have to spell out Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee.com? DCCC.org. DCCC.org. There you go. We got it. <clears throat> Congressman, uh, you and I go back many years. You've been a member of Nash Action Network. We've worked on things. So I'm not surprised to hear you highlight of the legacy of uh, President Biden, because that's just your way. He talked about when I was traveling with him on uh, tu on Tuesday, uh, how you was always measured like that. But talk more about the uh, substance of, uh, of Vice President Harris, because I think one of the contrasts that people are missing is that she is a real content policy-minded person running against people who have no kind of depth in terms of what they stand for. Donald Trump, as his own uh, cousin just was on talking about, is, is not only insensitive, but I really don't think he understands policy. He goes with slogans and he plays to the crowd. And his VP candidate, I don't know that he even knows what he's talking about half the time. But Kamala Harris co-authored real legislation, including the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act and other things. Talk about as a legislator, uh, and, and one that everyone considers substantive and probably will be the speaker if we get those four seats alone in New York. How important it is to have a president that understands legislation and policy. Well, you know, Vice President Harris is uh, a very thoughtful individual, very values-based individual, powerful intellect, studies the issues, uh, and knows how to get things done. She's a common sense leader who has delivered real results in the past, whether that was as California's attorney general, certainly as United States senator, we worked closely together on criminal justice reform that was bipartisan uh, in nature and transformational for communities all across the country. She worked on a whole host of other uh, issues. And in my conversations with her as vice president, she's always uh, probing in terms of ideas and opportunities and the policies that are designed to make life better for the American people. Uh, and that's a clear contrast with the former president of the United States, uh, who never met a policy that he had any idea of studying or understanding. Uh, he just weaponizes issues, for instance, like the border, uh, to try to gain political power, but has no interest in trying to solve them. Kamala Harris is a problem solver who gets things done for hardworking American taxpayers. So Claire was just talking about your title, whether it be speaker or leader. A title you will have in November is author. You have a new book titled The ABCs of Democracy to be published November 12th, just after the election. Uh, give us a preview. Well, you know, America is at a fork in the road. And the question uh, that we have to ask is which direction will we choose? Uh, and so I wanted to lay out what I hope is a blueprint for a brighter future, anchored in traditional American values, like benevolence or the Constitution or democracy or economic opportunity in every single zip code. And of course, contrast that using the universal lens of the alphabet and illustration uh, with those forces who want to turn back the clock uh, and promote the ugly underbelly of society. I believe that America is incredibly resilient. We always rise to the occasion, and hopefully in some small way, this book, uh, The ABCs of Democracy, will chart that path forward for those of us who want to make sure we can continue our march toward a more perfect union. All right, we'll note again the new book, The ABCs of Democracy, to be published on November 12th. House Minority Leader, Congressman Hakeem Jeffries of New York, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you.